For two years, people have been asking me the same question. What do you think of Bleach? It has taken me two years to formulate a response because Bleach is an outlier in many ways. What I found is that it's either people's favorite series or they f***ing hate it. To be fair, there is validity to both sides, which is why a well-articulated thought piece on this series took me as long as it has. Because to be totally honest with you, I hate Bleach, but I also really like it. And I promise that will make more sense by the end, but enough flip-flopping. This is Bleach. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, this is Mike, and we got merch! Now as you know, for a while we've been working with Displate, we have our own special Displates over there, but we also just hooked up with Teespring, came out with some designs, worked really hard on them, stuck them on some super cool stuff, and the quality is fantastic. Obviously we got the Bonsai Pop Uchiwa, and then we got a little mug with Papu and the logo on it, and of course Tyler, Sipu Sipu in on the back. Once conventions open back up next year, I would love to see some of you guys repping our stuff. If you do buy anything, make sure to tweet at us, send us pictures. Either way, I hope that you check it out. Thank you so much for your time, and on with the show. Bleach, like many anime, is an adaptation of a manga, and that is exactly where I would like to start. It was created by Tite Kubo and released in August 2001 in Weekly Shonen Jump, and quickly rose to be one of the big three alongside One Piece and Naruto. While previously mentioned series followed in the footsteps of their predecessors like Dragon Ball and Fist of the North Star, Bleach kinda went its own way. I honestly think Kubo looked more at shows like Yu Yu Hakusho and the realistic depictions of Tagashi-san's characters and settings for inspiration rather than the fantastic landscapes of Dragon Ball, for example. And not to put down Oda-san or Kishimoto-sensei, but out of the three, Kubo undoubtedly loved his characters the most. The manga is cool. Like, it's actually cool. It has a very different feel and you can see the love and detail that he put into the outfits and the style of this manga. His cover pages are almost universally amazing from beginning to the end of the series. Bleach has style, attitude, and it is very definitive. When you see a Bleach panel, you know it's Bleach and you know it's Kubo, and that in and of itself is an achievement. Bleach was also clearly aimed at a slightly older audience, influenced by musical styles. In fact, the main character Ichigo's theme song is by Bad Religion, which is one of my favorite bands. Even got a little Bad Religion tattoo that my uh, Catholic grandma loves. This series is also culturally and religiously very aware, pulling from all over. I was confused throughout my first read as to why there was so much Hispanic influence as there is. It's a very uncommon thing for manga or anything from Japan, really. For instance, since Chad is half Mexican and half Japanese, and when things got towards Hakamundo, I figured we were dealing with Day of the Dead type stuff. You know, Mexican holidays celebrating the spirits of the deceased, etc. However, it turns out that most of the inspiration for the Arancars and Hakamundo, etc., comes from Santeria, which is a polytheistic Afro-Cuban religion which has a lot to do with honoring the dead, but also sacrifice, and if we cover Bleached again, I will definitely get into Santeria because it is fascinating. Also, the Quincy's are inspired by the Roman Catholic Church and the Order of Knights, as well as the German language, but of course it all starts with the Japanese traditional Shinto belief system and the idea of souls through that lens. Bleach has a really cool premise where warriors from the spirit world or the soul society patrol the mortal plane to guide souls back to the soul society and cleanse evil spirits known as hollows. Hollows are the dead who have been corrupted by hate or greed. They're basically bad ghosts, poltergeists. The story follows a young punk named Ichigo as he becomes a soul reaper, transcending his normal adolescent life into a pivotal role in saving the world. So you have these excellently illustrated characters, this sense of style, this musically and religiously inspired universe grounded in reality and traditional Japanese beliefs as well, the setup is flawless. And then there's the execution. Now again, I truly enjoyed the Bleach manga, but it's not without its flaws. There's a section that is almost 300 chapters of straight battle from Hekumundo to Aizen, and it ends in a quick wet fart. Like, that is ridiculous. People have been whining about Dragon Ball taking too long to get through the fights. Literally nothing compares to this section of Bleach. But look, there are good and bad parts of every series, and honestly, the manga as a whole is pretty enjoyable. I never felt fatigued from reading it, but there are some quirks in the works that I wanted to point out. For me, Orihime and Chad are awesome and interesting characters that get way too little exposure. After the first arc or so, they're constantly treated as an afterthought, and when they come busting in way towards the end, it 
pretty much comes down to a tip joke. Also, in my opinion, most of the Soul Reapers are boring, one-dimensional characters that get way too much panel space. Even Renji gets old. I'm just not a fan of these characters' designs. It's like 50 characters in black kimonos. It's boring. Hollows, Odinkars, Holified Soul Reapers, Quincy's, all of them are far more interesting and outshine the Soul Reapers. Yet, when you look at the character popularity polls, freaking Hitsugaya is almost consistently number one. I just don't understand Bleach fans, dude. Rukia, Ichigo, Orihime, Urahara, Yoroichi are all way better. And before I get off this topic, let me just say that Kubo has a talent for making gorgeous female characters. Like, goddamn, he's good. One of the main flaws of Bleach is the story is that there's simply too many characters to give a shit about. Go ahead, search Bleach characters on Google, and at least 50 will come up, and maybe three of them are worth your time. It's too much, too spread out, and semi-directionless. However, my biggest criticism is the lack of flow in the narrative. There's no obvious point A to point B where the next big bad makes sense. You can have a point A to C to B story, but I mean, there still has to be a direction from each position in this freaking map. Most of the time, a big bad guy will just show up and then are dealt with and then explained with like along the way. It's, it's, it's a mess. When compared to its contemporary and competitor One Piece, which mastered the art of foreshadowing bleed, seems like this. But look, this is an anime channel and this is what you've been waiting for, the anime. So let me just say this. The OPs are super good. Look, I'm not about making negative content. Bonsai Pop is first and foremost a curative channel where we talk about what we love and we share it with people or give them a new way to look at it. But personally, I really don't like the anime adaptation of Bleach. I can dig it up until the gang save Rukia, but then I shut it off. I know this is gonna make some people mad, I really don't care, I've been listening to Why You Love Bleach for like 20 years, give me a chance to tell you why I don't love it. The animation first and foremost is bad. None of the characters have the same feel as they do in the manga, proportions are off, skewed, it's really whack. And for the record, I watched the anime first, this is not a manga elitist BS post. I never liked the way that the characters looked in the anime and what's up with Ichigo's thick ass neck like the dude constantly has this dad neck thing going on or tonsillitis or something also his hair is all wrong it's it's terrible the other issue is color bleach does not work well in color there's something extremely stylistic about the manga the story and the setting that mix extremely well especially in black and white. The dissonance can particularly be seen during the attack on the Soul Society. The background animation is absolute garbage. It is the same paneled traditional white Japanese houses or just blue sky. It is so repetitive. It is so boring. And while watching it, I actually feel like I'm trapped in a maze. And not in a I feel like I'm there kind of way, but uh, I feel like I want to leave kind of way. With the manga, you're able to fill in those blanks with your mind or simply take it in as black and white. I mean, the whole series is about spirits and worlds of the soul. It has a horror slash ethereal atmosphere to it, and the black and white caters to that perfectly. And to add to this, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen an anime that's as out of touch with its source material as Bleach. And that's saying a lot, I know. But it's impressive how a more immersive experience like animation can actually take away from something as simple as a comic. Part of the issue I've already explained, but then you get the filler. Now, I generally don't complain about filler, and I've heard people promote Bleach's filler, but personally, I despise it. Because it's not good. And worse than that, it's intrusive and interruptive. Also, it introduced to us these made-up bastards, Dinoba and Kuroto. They are not in the manga, why do they exist? Okay, I know that's a dumb question, it's for the kids, but Bleach isn't really a kid's show. It certainly wasn't a kid's manga, so what the fuck? They didn't put a little chibi burb and fist in the North Star, so why is this happening? The characters are super annoying, the arc is terrible, and they come right after a really good section of the show, and then they just poopy all over. It's just poop everywhere, just poopy poop. But the rest of the filler isn't much better than that. Remember how I mentioned the longest fight arc of all time in the manga? Well, in the anime, they decided it would be a good idea to add filler in there. This could be argued as a way to break up this very long experience, but we're trying to get through a 300 chapter fight. The last thing we need is for that to be extended in any way. Thank you. I do appreciate that they put in the Cannon Beach episode, though. That was a delight. Honestly, highlight of the series. But to stop midway through the longest fight of all time and go into some history for some characters we don't really care about, at least I don't care about because we aren't given a reason to, is like awful. It's egregious, man. Look, Bleach 
is fascinating. I know a lot of these decisions were obviously made because at the time the manga was huge and you're gonna make your money any way you can. Manga is rarely able to keep pace with anime. I mean, think about it. You can read a manga chapter in about five minutes, so you can arguably fit about six chapters in a single episode of anime. If the show and manga are running at the same time, you get filler. I mean, look at Naruto. Also, what is this noise? It's, it's literally the worst. It makes me feel like I'm razor blades. But to sacrifice the integrity of a more gritty, more cool series to pump out cheap anime is sad. Bleach truly had a lot going for it. I mean, the style again is so sick. The concepts and designs for the hollows are super cool, but it's just a mess. It's drawn out. The big bads are unrealized. I mean, Aizen was such a disappointment. However, there's so much I appreciate about the manga despite its flaws. So the question remains, what do I think about Bleach? Do I like it? And is it worth your time? I think the manga is fly. Legit styling as fuck with a lot of passion and love poured into it. I admire Kubo's affection for his characters. It really does bleed out of the pages. His storytelling on the other hand needs work when it comes to his long cons in Bleach. Though even I have to admit that Gin Ichimaru's arc is amazing. There are segmented pieces within the narrative that are fantastic. Ichigo's whole backstory and family stuff is great. Conceptually, the series is worthy of its spot in the big three. Executionally, I find that debatable. Do I like Bleach? Yeah, I think I do. I don't love it. I'm not getting a tattoo, that's for sure. It's not going to be on my mind like Yu Yu or Naruto or Hunter x Hunter, but yeah, I really do appreciate the manga. I think if you enjoy reading and you're interested in it, it's worth your time. If nothing else, then for the historical value of having read one of the big three, they are very important manga. As far as the anime goes, I would watch through the Soul Society arc and then can it. But take that extremely loosely as I recommend not watching the anime at all because I hate it. Check out those OPs though, seriously, they're good. Again, this is just me and maybe it's coming as a shock. Uh, and if Bleach is your shock, my opinion doesn't change that or make it less valid. It's important to remember that we all experience things through different lenses in different ways. I wasn't paying attention to Bleach when it was airing. I didn't watch it when I was a kid. I didn't read it when I was a kid. It's something I picked up later in life as a curiosity and then eventually read this year so I could make an informed video for you. And honestly, again, I was pleasantly surprised by the manga after being so thoroughly turned off by the show years ago. Basically, it is okay if we disagree. We're all adults and we're not going to not be friends because we don't have the same opinion on everything. Thing. And I don't think you're dumb or you have shit taste if you love bleach the anime not the liquid It's just really not my jam However, I do recommend that beach episode though. That one is pretty solid <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Mike. Thank you so much for watching through the whole video. Just another reminder that yes, we are working with this play and we also have our own line of merch down below. You gotta check it out. All this stuff is super styling. Links in the description. Gotta give a shout out to one of our Super Saiyan gods, Raining Ekum, and our lucky patron of the week, Jacker Westlake. Subscribe if you're ready. If you're not, go and watch every other video we've ever made because I guarantee you that'll convince you. Hope you have a good week. I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.